Hello, dear dreamers. It's your old classical music-loving pal, the dream conductor. Today, we'll experience Sleep's Sweet Sonata with stories of beloved classical composers Ludwig van Beethoven and Pyotr Ilyich Tchaikovsky. Before our sleepy adventure begins, go ahead and get settled in. Bring awareness to your breath. Don't breathe any differently. Simply notice your natural breath. Feel the coolness of the air as it enters your nose and the warmth as it exits through your mouth. Now, take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale through your mouth. As you breathe in, imagine a soft blue light filling your body. This light represents peace, tranquility, and calmness. Let it wash over you. Feel it in your feet, your legs, your stomach, your chest and arms, your neck, and finally, your head. Take another deep breath in through your nose and exhale through your mouth. With each exhale, visualize any stress, worry, or tension being carried away on the wings of a musical note, leaving your body lighter and more relaxed. Let the ebb and flow of your breath mimic the gentle waves of the ocean, constant, rhythmic, soothing. One last time, take a deep breath in and exhale out. And now your sleep symphony awaits. As the night enfolds us in its tender embrace, let us embark on a gentle journey through time, floating upon the delicate waves of Beethoven's symphonic seas. It's 1770 in the heart of Bonn, Germany, where cobblestone streets echoed with stories and where dreams curled around chimneys like tendrils of smoke, Ludwig van Beethoven took his first breath. A child destined to serenade the universe, cradled in moonbeams and lullabies, would change the course of music forever. As the days unfurled, little Ludwig began to pick up the whispers of the world the rhapsodies of rivers, the serenades of sunrise, the ballads of breezes. Soon, his fingers began to dance over the piano keys, painting dreams in the air. Each note, a droplet of dew, each chord, a soft brushstroke on the canvas of dawn. As Ludwig grew, the world around him hummed its everyday melodies, the rustling of leaves, the chirping of morning birds, the distant ringing of church bells. And our young Beethoven listened, his heart attuned to the symphony of life. But as the gentle river of time flowed on, a shadow crept over Beethoven's world. Sounds began to blur. Melodies faded like distant dreams. Our maestro was losing his hearing, the very essence that defined his world. And yet, in the silken silence, Beethoven's spirit did not waver. Instead, he leaned in closer, listening to the heartbeat of the universe, 
to the whispers of stars and the lullabies of the night. With each passing moon, even as the world's noises dimmed, his inner symphony grew louder, more vibrant. The notes emerged not from the external world, but from the deep wellsprings of his soul. Imagine a world where melodies are born from moonlight and stardust. That was Beethoven's universe. Each composition, each movement, a dance of celestial body. And so, from the quiet corners of his heart, masterpieces were born. The Moonlight Sonata became a river of dreams flowing gracefully under a silver moon. The ode to joy arose, a tribute to life's undying spirit, and the pastoral symphony, a gentle walk through emerald meadows kissed by the sun. The world that once sang to him in a thousand harmonies began to fall silent. But even as deafness approached, Beethoven's spirit refused to be subdued, for in the silence he found a deeper cosmic song, a music that resonated not with his ears, but with his heart. As we drift deeper into the embrace of the night, let's remember Beethoven's message, even when faced with silence. Music can bloom, for true melodies are birthed in the heart and not just the ears. Hours turn into moments in our dreamy journey. Let's glide over Vienna's rooftops, visiting the places where Beethoven found inspiration. There's the park where he felt the sun's golden embrace, and the quiet alley where rain whispered its tale to him. For every challenge he faced, Beethoven responded, the masterpiece. His deafness might have been a poignant pause in his symphony, but he transformed it into a powerful crescendo. As our journey meanders, let's delve into Beethoven's letters, where he penned his deepest fears and loftiest dreams. These intimate whispers of a genius shared his soul's sonatas. And as we approach the twilight of his life, we encounter the magnum opus, Symphony Number no. 9, a piece that defies the silence that had descended upon him. It's as if the entire cosmos sang through him, a beacon of hope and testament to human resilience. As our voyage with Beethoven gently approaches its end, we find ourselves amidst the clouds, cradled by Beethoven's eternal music. His legacy isn't just in the notes he penned, but in the indominant spirit he instilled in every piece. A reminder that music can be born even amidst silent nights.
let's take a moment to reflect on classical music and its role in our lives. In the ever-rushing currents of modern life, we can find ourselves yearning for moments of peace, reflection, and soulful connection. Classical music, like a wise old tree with roots deeply embedded in the soil of human experience, provides us with a sanctuary. It stands tall and unyielding against the tides of time, offering refuge and perspective to all those who seek its shelter. Classical music isn't just a collection of notes or a series of chords. It's something much greater. It's the purest expression of human emotion and thought, captured and crystallized for eternity. Each piece, from a poignant sonata to a soaring symphony, tells a story that transcends language, culture, and time itself. Classical music weaves tales of love, despair, joy, and adventure, reminding us of our shared human journey. You might say, Classical music is a universal language, a melody written centuries ago. On the cobbled streets of Vienna or the ornate palaces of St. Petersburg can resonate deeply with someone in a bustling heart of a 21st century metropolis. These compositions, brought to life by the delicate magic of instruments and the passion of the musicians, form a bridge connecting our present to the past and illuminating the potential of our future. Classical music brimming with emotion and nuance invite listeners into a meditative space. They encourage introspection and provide a calming counterpoint to our often chaotic external environment. Classical music stands as a testament to human achievement and perseverance. The stories of composers like Beethoven, who composed masterpieces even as he grappled with profound deafness, remind us of the indomitable human spirit. They show us that art, in its purest form, can overcome adversity and illuminate the darkest corners of our existence. And in its gentle embrace, we are reminded of the beauty, depth, and resilience of each of us. As the stars shimmer softly above, let's take a slow stroll through Tchaikovsky's musical journey, a realm filled with tender melodies and soothing harmonies. In a cozy corner of Fotkinsk, Russia, Tchaikovsky was born, destined to caress the heartstrings of the world. Tchaikovsky's earliest days were woven with the golden threads of music, love, inspiration. As young Tchaikovsky grew, the seasons of Russia sang with him. Winter's crisp whispers, spring's blossoming lullabies, and the summer's warm embrace all found a way into his heart and eventually his music. Each piano key for Tchaikovsky was a portal, a gentle doorway to memories, dreams, and reflections. 
His compositions weren't just music. They were diaries etched in sound. As we glide through the mists of time, imagine the imperial splendor of St. Petersburg, the gentle glow of lanterns, the hushed conversations of twilight, The evocative notes of the Nutcracker Suite introduce themselves, reminding us of cozy winter nights, the crackle of a warm fire, snowflakes drifting slowly, slowly, slowly outside the window, the smell of hot chocolate in the air, decorations of the season filling our homes with holiday joy. Let the Nutcracker's comforting tales of enchanted toys and winter wonderlands cradle your spirit, guiding you deeper, deeper, and deeper still into full relaxation. Life, with its undulating waves of experiences, brought moments of solitude and reflection to Tchaikovsky. In the quiet embrace of his own thoughts, he discovered melodies that resonated with raw emotion and glided into our hearts with pure beauty. Tchaikovsky's music is a dance of contrast, gentle yet passionate, melancholic yet triumphant. Like a knitted blanket, it wraps around us inviting us to find solace in its embrace. We feel the ebb and flow of Tchaikovsky's soul. The tender sighs, the hopeful crescendos, the soothing lulls. Let it guide you, dear dreamer, into a haven of peace and introspection. As our voyage nears its twilight, we find ourselves amidst the ethereal landscapes painted by this Russian maestro. Tchaikovsky's legacy reminds us of the beauty that arises from life's intricate tapestry of joys and sorrows. Let the softness of his music lull you into a gentle slumber and drift you into your dreams. With Tchaikovsky's serenades echoing in our hearts, may you find peace, tranquility, warmth, and wonder. Good night, dear dreamers. Let the symphonies of Beethoven and Tchaikovsky guide your dreams, and may you awaken the song in your heart.
it's been a pleasure to guide you on this sleepy, wondrous journey. Who produces the dream conductor? Why, it's me, Doug Frazier. To relax, I like to drop the needle on the hi-fi and spin some of my favorite classical records. I dig through the bin, pulling out each record, appreciating it, remembering the good times it brought to my life. So many perfect choices. I wonder which one I'll choose next. Our executive producer is Chuck Dowd. His days are filled with the mellow tones of bassoons, his favorite woodwind instrument. It's a beautiful piece of human ingenuity, isn't it? Double reeded aerophones, keys, a shoulder strap to keep the instrument close at hand while the player sits, opens their sheet music, and begins the first note of a musical journey. Our pilgrimage through the history of music is brought to you by WHRO, whose funding helps make this sleepy, cozy show possible. Until next time, may your dreams be a masterpiece.